Today's lesson is 8.5 equivalent fractions. Our learning target is I can represent, identify, and generate equivalent fractions using drawings and manipulatives. So what are equivalent fractions? They are fractions that mean the same thing but represent different parts. When looking at this example, one-third, two-sixths, and four-twelfths all mean the same thing. But when I look at the denominator, I can tell that these fractions are representing different parts. In this case, one-third rep represents one out of three pieces. For this fraction, two-sixths represents two out of six pieces. And here, 4 twelfths represents 4 out of 12 pieces. Each of these fractions mean the same thing, but represent different parts. Think back to the fraction poster we made yesterday. If I were to run a straight edge down the center of my poster, I can make some interesting observations about equivalent fractions. I notice that one half is the same as two fourths and it's the same as four eighths and the same as three sixths. All of these fractions mean the same thing but they represent different parts. In this case one half represents one out of two, two fourths represent two out of four, Four eighths represents four out of eight, and three sixths represents three out of six pieces. You are going to have a chance to explore equivalent fractions today. But before we get started, I want you to make some observations about the cards you'll be using. Shown here. Each of these cards represent one whole, or one. The fraction on the card lets you know how many pieces the card is broken into. So if you look here, one-fourth, the four lets me know that this card will be broken into four equal sections. Just like the two here lets me know it's broken into two sections, the six is broken into six different sections. Because of this, the bars on each card will vary. The fraction on the back of these cards represent how much is shaded in. In this case, one fourth represents one out of the four bars. One half represents one out of the two bars. 3 6 represents 3 out of the 6 bars, and 2 6 represents 2 out of the 6 bars that are colored in. Some of the cards will have the same numerator but different denominators, just like the top two cards. Notice they both have a numerator of 1, but different denominators. What this means is these cards will be split up into different amounts of equal parts. In this case, one-fourth, it's one out of four equal parts compared to one-half, which is one out of two equal parts. Some cards will have the same denominator but different numer numerators, just like the bottom two cards. Notice they both have a denominator of six. This means that each card is split into the same amount of parts, but a different amount, different amount of parts are shaded in. In this case, three are shaded in and compared to two. Remember, cards with a one in the numerator are known as unit fractions. You're going to have a chance now to identify different pairs of equivalent fractions. You're going to be turning to the back of your student's journal 
to the flashcard pages. On one side of the page, you'll see these large white fractions. The other side of the page, you'll see the picture cards that I was showing you before. You're going to be using these cards and comparing the pictures on them to identify equivalent fractions. When you turn to page 194, you'll see the base fraction on the side of the page, and you're going to be naming all of the different equivalent fractions you can find that match these base fractions. Good luck!